Were you guys, um, we're, we're going to talk comics all morning long because uh, just check out the size, the, um, uh, how should we say, the stock that they have in here. Oh, wow. Oh, this place is huge. And if you like comic books, liked comic books, want to get oh. into comic books, graphic novels, then stay tuned all morning long. Because uh, were, you guys, were you guys comic book collectors? Did you ever read comics? For sure, I yeah. did. Archie all the time. I was a lot, yeah. yeah. I were you an bit. Archie chick, Michelle? Yes, absolutely. Me too. And, and the, it, yeah, the little digest as well? Mm-hmm. Supported Betty all the time. I was a Betty <laughs> fan, not Veronica. So you were a Betty chick? Uh-huh. Perfect. Rob, what were you? Do I have to stay with Archie? Well, no, you, did well, you, you know, like know, Betty like or Batman. Veronica? You know what? I liked, uh, yeah, I think I liked Betty too. You liked Batman, hey? Yeah. Like Batman. I used to have my own little cape, and I used to run around the house, apparently. <laughs> One of the many goofy Aww. things I did as a kid. Aww. But, yeah, Batman, Superman, those were the favorites. Of course, I mean, that, I think, was so many kids' favorites back then, right? right. right. Oh, wow. You I know? mean, I, there are comics now that I haven't even heard of. Yeah. You know what I remember, Bridget? Hmm. Comics used to cost... Now I'm sounding like my 70. old partner over here that slept all weekend. <laughs> used to cost like 12 cents or 10 cents a piece. Mm, I remember that. You know? Not so much no more. Not so much, eh? No, but like I, I commented on that to Ray, my guest this morning. Uh -huh. And uh, the comics today, they're not the... Um, everything about them, it's, it's like technology. They're much more advanced. You're looking at graphic novels. You're looking at almost pieces of art, really. You Compared know what to what we had, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And, and it, when you consider, I had no idea I was just engaged in a hilarious conversation with Ray, and I'll, uh, maybe we could touch on it later on about Archie, though, being an Archie. Like, I was, I was like, so do you guys poo poo on the Archie fans? Because, you know, I was oh, a no. total Archie <laughs> chick. And he's like, no, Archie was pretty, you know, 1940s. It was crazy. I did not know this, Michelle. And uh, at the time, I mean, think about it. Betty and Veronica were pretty va va voom they ladies. They were. They were totally, mm -hmm. you know, and, and re, you know, Reggie and Moo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jughead. Yes, Archie himself and Ethel, who was Jughead, who loved Jughead, yeah. right? Exactly. Yeah. So there's just a whole, and, and, and so he he does find them slightly respectable. Slightly. Yeah. And <laughs> there's <laughs> not geeks. <laughs> exactly. But there is a huge wealth of uh, comic collection to be had here. This is my guest, Ray. We are at Happy Harbor Comics. Uh, not new entirely, but new for me. I've never been here before. On 124th, just where Jasper starts to bend. Second floor. Hello, Ray. Hi. Good morning. So we're talking, uh, first of all, comics this morning. Uh, how do you even begin to broach the world of comics? It's, it's huge. It's a, it's a vast, vast medium. And there's so much to it. So much for everybody. It doesn't matter how young, how old art styles, reading story preferences, and I think that people are kind of starting to get into the fact that uh, they're starting to recognize as comics are encroaching on other medium that it's a, a massive industry and it really... When you say encroaching on other mediums, where is, it, where is it encroaching? Well, when you look at television, you've got TV shows like Heroes, Smallville. When you look at films, um, in 2007 alone, there's going to be over two dozen films that come out in 2007 based or taken directly from comic books. Everything from Sin City to Fantastic Four to Spider-Man, Ghost Riders out next month. Films in the past like Road to Perdition, V for Vendetta, History of Violence, all ripped right out of comic books. So let's, let's start. We were going to, because I don't even know how you like structure a morning like this, because we could go anywhere. We're going to talk about how to make you, they offer how to be your own comic creator classes here. We're going to make our own comic strip this morning. Comics 101, where, do, if somebody's watching right now going, I want to get in on the comic train. I want to start collecting. Where does one start in today's world of comics? Well, we usually kind of approach people with the basics, which is in North America, the superhero comic. So you kind of get your standard stuff, like your, your Supermans, your Spider-Mans. Um, so these guys are still hot. They're still cool. They're still happening. Absolutely. And, uh, of course, with the movies, you know, they're even bigger than they used to be. So, and on top of that, you've got things like Star Wars books uh, for people who, and, and Star Wars is huge again. The comic book line has been reinvented. Um, there's all sorts of stuff. Books based on fantasy, on heroism, um, everything. And, of course, the next big step after just... The normal comic books for maybe people who don't want to like say, well, I, d I don't want these little one-shot monthly right. things and stuff like this. I want something with a bit more meat. And that's when we kind of move over into what a lot of people are talking about these days, the graphic novel medium. Right, and, and that's, that's just yeah. over here. Yeah. And, and this is huge. And the art in these books, uh, if you can just start to appreciate, um, you know, a lot of stuff that you look at, you know, some of these books right now that... <laughs> well, especially uh, Charles Burns' Black Hole came out last year, which was a collection, and it was really a, a teen angst story, uh, as it were. Kids growing up and um, the evolutions, but the evolutions that happened to them were supernatural. Um, 
there's just so many different good books. Um, Castle Waiting, <coughs> a, a fantastic uh, fantasy story appropriate for all ages, but they, you know, they reproduce them into uh, hardcover books like this that just make uh, beautiful gifts, and they're excellent reads. All right, so we, we I mean, all, all I can do is if this world even remotely intrigues you, you've got to get down here to Happy Harbor Books, uh, comic books rather. Um, but this morning there is a bit of a task at hand, and uh, we are going to be creating our own comic books. And I do believe, Ray, you wanted to lay down, and we'll talk to Michelle and Rob later on, and come up with the characteristics of creating our own comic book characters. Is that right? Well, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you give our two local artists um, maybe a character, a theme, or an event, and they're each going to produce a comic over the next couple of hours that basically made up on the spot just to show how people really, how easy and flexible uh, the medium of comics is and how much creativity it allows you to, uh, to utilize. Awesome. Going to be an awesome morning. We're making comics, so stick around. We're talking comics, news, weather, traffic up after this. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. The 